back towards the beginning is the rib. Right? Let's go to the rib of beef. There's our rib of beef, right? And it says, the primal rib is a portion of the forecourt remaining after excluding the crosscut chuck and the short plate, blah, 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 blah. The loin shall be following the curvature of the 12th rib. So um, this is the 12th rib. Where's the 13th rib? It's one over. Actually, this is cut by Mylers, which probably means they cut it wrong. They cut it wrong last time. Looks like two kids. Are you sure? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There's always seven ribs on a primal rib. So why would Mylers cut it this way? They don't care. They're Mylers. They can do whatever they want. No, it'll be the same. It just depends on that. That one looks short. Like he cut, it looks like he's cutting them short each time now. That's actually a little tiny piece of the tailbone and the end of the T-bone right here. So he's cutting it in the wrong place. Why? I don't know. He just went in. Let's get this done. Hurry up. Right? So it's not a true uh, rib of beef. It won't be a true rib of beef because they cut it incorrectly. But we'll cut it according to spec. Um, so it's going to be 10 inches measured from the end of the eye muscle here and 6 inches from the other side, all right? So from here out, it's gonna be 10 inches, from here out, six inches. So from this end, right there, one, two, three, four, five, six, looks good. We'll make it a little bit long. Because we're butchers, we like to sell extra fat. All right, and then on this side, 10 inches from the end of the eye. And that looks like 10 inches. All right, what I'm seeing lately though, is uh, rather than making the primal cut, they're, they're cutting this shorter and they're making more of a short rib out of this section. So we're gonna do that too. We're gonna cut it just a little bit short. We're gonna cut it right to a two by two eye muscle. There's the end of the eye. One, two, about there. All right, so we're not gonna make the primal. We're gonna make this 107, all right? You understand, understand the reason why? Yeah. It's so we don't cut this short rib in half, yeah. all right? So we're gonna go right to the 107. But you can buy whole primals, or you can buy 107s, they do exist. <laughs> this is our hand saw. You cut across the bones like this. <laughs> little circular saws. That's the coolest little thing. I don't have they, um, They're like the little saws that you would use to cut a cast off. dry age. It's got all the bone and fat covering. It could age this for how long? How long do you think? Yeah, you can go 45 days. Absolutely. Beef reaches maximum tenders at 21 to 28 days after slaughter. So if you eat beef 
too soon, it's going to be tough. It actually needs to age a certain amount. Okay, so that's the 107. And then this is a would be like a, what we call a, a long plate. And I'm going to cut this off like so. Right at the end of those short ribs there. We measure one, two, three, four uh, short ribs. Make our cut down like this. And then cut across all these. short ribs before, right, nicely braised, very popular item, the price of them is going through the roof, because they're so popular. And I see people selling boneless short ribs, and I just want to walk up to them and slap them in the head. <laughs> It's like, why did you do that? Why wouldn't you just go and buy a nice piece of chuck underblade roast and make that into all the short ribs? It's the same basic muscle. It's the extension of this muscle into another cut. I see that on a lot of short ribs. I'm like, ah, tasters. What I'm doing now is just peeling off this outer layer, and the inner part would be the good short rib section. And this outer layer is just Not quite the twitch muscle that we talked about yesterday, but you know, it's the thin meats that help support the insides of the animal. <laughs> 